What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. And I'm setting up a a bag that I've already been using. And as you can see, it's just a big stupid bag of junk right now. And a big bag of junk is kind of how I roll at the end of the day. You know, I have tool bags like this. I have pouches like this, which is a smaller, this is a small bag of junk here. At the end of the day, I end up throwing my stuff in a little bag or a big bag and just rolling. But I do use tool bags to organize my stuff. But I don't grab a big bag and roll usually, like a big tool bag full of everything, you know, uh, when I'm on the go. I get something small and go. And that's why I had this small pouch in here because I was doing a job and I had my everyday pouch, some Sharpies, Pecs, angle stop. I was doing some other stuff the other day that required some of these screws and stuff. Um, I keep my snap on light in there. So, and what always is in there is my screw gun. So, like, this lives near my big tool bag, and I throw stuff in it to go do my job. And I was doing something the other day that required me to take off the covers for a furnace. And I did that with my, you know, screw gun, quarter inch nut driver, magnetic nut driver or whatever, did that. Then I had to take the panel off of a tankless water heater, Phillips screws, did that. Then I ended up uh, replacing a couple outlets. So I used a square tip for that and over the course of that time i was just not happy with where my bits were <laughs> i had i had to keep going to the truck and getting stuff getting a couple bits or whatever like i mean i could have made do with with a basically you know the screws for an outlet i could have used the phillips for everything but i don't know i just wanted to i i found myself annoyed by not having the exact bits and stuff that i wanted i ended up having to drill a hole i didn't have a drill bit and when I was fumbling around with all of these big ass cases that live in this drawer of a toolbox in my truck, I just started to go nuts. So I decided that I would make one or two cases, maybe, that could rule them all. So that's what I'm going to set out to do is make a screw gun set up to put in my big bag there and begin the organization of a good tote bag to throw stuff in. So I, I, I was messing around over here and I think I'm going to keep these cobalt drill bits the same because they are ones that I only use when I need a real good one. Um, they're still actually not as good as I want them to be. But this is a kind of a more compact case, so this will just live somewhere in the truck. That's not going to go in the bag. Um, this is one that really pisses me off because it's three, seven drill bits is what's in this case. And that's how freaking big it is. Like, it takes up way too much space in my, in my truck. Valuable space in a drawer. So... I need to come up with something different for this, but, you know, these drill bits are, are really good masonry bits, and I, I do need to drill a hole in concrete every once in a while. Um, they're good, good bits. Like, I really like these Bosch ones. Got them at Lowe's. Every once in a while, you know, I got to do a tap con. These plastic holders are just the worst. You got to yank them out of there, you know, trying to make a video, shaking your camera all around. You know, here's where I had tape on one. 
Anyway, this is just stupid. And on this video, I'm going to attempt to maybe come up with something better. You know what I just realized? Is for $2 at the Habitat for Humanity, I did purchase a set of masonry drill bits. They're a little bit rusty. But, I actually think that they're probably good. Say, made in USA. Oh, every one of them has USA written on it. They're probably pretty good drill bits. It's a full set. They're all marked. Uh, eighth of an inch up to half inch. So, I think these are just going to have to replace this. And if I need a really good drill bit, I'll, I'll just have to, if I end up needing a longer masonry bit, I guess I'll have to, maybe I'll throw these in somewhere else in the truck. I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> this is hard. Um, I like these bits. I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw them in a little case. Like, what if I... See, I have so many of these. Like, look at this. This is... I've got so many of these damn things. Look at them. They're everywhere. I don't know what has happened to me. I've got... Here's a, an older set. Maybe I could throw them in here. It might, I think they're too long. Anyway, I'm wasting time. What I really am going to set out to do today is set out um, is set up a uh, a case to rule them all. So the big set of drill bits, which has dwindled down, <laughs> I've broken all the small ones, um, and the set of screwdriver bits. This set is actually pretty good already. So, I've got a pretty, like I went through here and made a setup of bits that I would actually use. Took, all, took out all the ones that I didn't think I'd use. And I actually added this half inch nut driver. It comes with quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths magnetic nut drivers. I added this half inch one I had. I'm going to get a seven sixteenths one, so I'll have a little magnetic nut driver set in here because I use those all the time and then I'm going to make this side drill bits now the reason I can do that is I'm going to take out these power bits Look how hard it is to get these stupid things out. I'm shaking everything all over the place. God bless America. Okay. So here's some power bits. All that I'll use. Square 1, square 2, T20, T25, and a Phillips number 2. Put those off to the side. Now, I can put drill bits in here. So... Put me some small drill bits. I'm not a big, like, put all your drill bits in order. I just look at them usually and pick a good size for whatever I'm doing. These are the same one, eighth of an inch, which is actually a, a real common one. So, anyway, I'll put that small one. That's another size up. And then I'll just start putting them in here. Jesus. If I don't stop struggling on here, I'm going to have to redo this damn video. I never redo videos. If you're wondering, if you're watching this channel, um, and you wonder how I make videos, one take, 
I don't get this far through a video and turn it off and redo it. I can tell you that much. So this drill bit I've been meaning to um, probably throw away. I'd, but sometimes you just need like a sacrificial one to waller out a, a hole or something. Um, this thing is so dull from me just putting this drill bit in um, situations that it should not go in. I've completely ruined this one. But you got to have one like that. This big half inch or three eighths maybe is a really good one to have. Definitely need it in here. Um, so put that in there. Put that that one there. Yeah, this is working out. That one. That's the same size. So we only need one of them. Both of these are seven thirty seconds. This one seems to be in better shape. Put that in there. This one needs to be in here too. Sorry if this is a really lame video. But, you never know. It might be good. So, anyway, there's some a good little set. I mean, this is pretty, a pretty, I'm going to put another eighth of an inch in here just to, make it to where I've got a pretty full set there. You know, leave these two out, whatever. This is going to cover all my, like, drilling needs for just basic stuff. Still closes. That's good. Okay. That is a start right there. I've got screwdriver bits. I've got nut drivers. I've got drill bits. So this is all my short stuff. And what I love about a screw gun like this is you can, I always keep this bit holder in, the, in here. And that holds magnetic bits. And then if I want to put a drill bit in it, this thing works just like a drill driver. It's got, you know, a regular drill. It's got a, a drill setting. It's got um, two speeds. So I can put it on speed two and that drill setting. And that is like a, that's a drilling mode. It's not like using an impact driver with drill bits. It's not the same. This is actually made to actually drill some good, you know, drill holes. You know, you can drill holes with this. And if I need... To drill some holes, I'll have one case. It's got drill bits in it. And then if I need real tiny drill bits, I always, always have tiny, tiny drill bits like this in here that can go in the screw gun. Everything's got to be able to go in the screw gun. This is my handyman case that I may be making a video about next. I might be changing this up and using this little DeWalt snap together case but anyway that's another topic so we're doing good we got i like this set of nut drivers magnetic nut drivers here i think that's really kind of an important thing for me so drill bits nut drivers and screwdriver bits i've noticed that my favorite uh phillips number two bits are the ones the acr ones um i picked up some of these once Phillips number two ACR, and they have these little grooves cut into them. And that makes it to where it really holds a Phillips number two screw in like the best. So anyway, that's what I that's what I do for that. And I've got a bunch more of these somewhere in a case that I will fill up later in here i'll replace the phillips number twos with these acr ones and then i'll be good to go so short nut drivers drill bits and screwdriver bits that's a a good case that's gonna go in there then 
I always have my short stuff, but I always, always need my long drill bits. Screwdriver bits, actually, in this case. And this is what I use for that. So, this is a Pro Torque. I bought this on Amazon years ago. I don't think they make this anymore. It's an awesome case. And I've got this set of uh, Weha magnetic nut driver bits in it. And these Weha's are fantastic. They are some of my favorite accessories there are. They're long. The magnets on them are super strong. They're just super high quality things. And I, I like to have them with me at all times for situations when I really need a good magnetic nut driver. It's, it's just an important thing for me. So I've been keeping them in there. I always have this in my truck. But, uh, and then I like to have really long bits. But like... The ones that came in here are the ones I've always kept in here, and it's stupid. I don't need a long 6-inch Phillips number 3. I almost never use Phillips number 3, and if I do need it, I can use one of those short tips in the, the bit driver. I do not need a 6-inch posi drive. I could use a 6-inch square number 2 probably, but... I don't need one that long most of the time. Do I need a long Phillips number two? Absolutely. That one stays in there. But I did buy a set of ones that have grooves cut into it. So I'm going to put that one that has grooves. A long Phillips number one? Don't need it. Never going to use that. I hardly ever use Phillips number one. If I do, I probably don't need a six inch one. Um, Torx. Do I need a T8? A little tiny? No. Do I need a T10? Six inch. No. What I need is a T25. Long T25. Yep, I use that. And maybe a T15 and T20 long. Maybe. I'll, I'll put them both in here just because I got them. So I got three long torques. I don't need a T30 long. Don't need it. So that covers my long 6-inch ones. That's all I'm going to need for that. I believe that is just 100% all I'll need. Um, I got some others here. Just make sure. Yeah. That's all I'm going to need for super longs. I could maybe use a long flat head like that. I just don't have any. Um, but now I can, I can put these more reasonable sized bits because I really like to have sometimes a skinny you know one like this this is a good length to get down in somewhere and still not be like super long when I don't need to be so there's a Phillips number two that goes in there square one and two of the same size absolutely Couple torques, 20 and 25, I believe, is what these are. Yeah, T20 and T25. They can go in there. Beautiful. And then, let's see if I got a, a flat. See, these are all these ones that I've been having that I don't need. Here's a good flat that's that length. Throw that in there. Yeah. Okay. So many damn screwdriver bits. It is so stupid. 
I kind of got the inspiration for this from this kit that I made for my uh, mechanic stuff. I just took this out and made this little holder and realized that this is way more compact than a bunch of these boxes. So I've just been starting to kind of streamline my stuff a little bit. So I got a flat. That's really the only flat I need in here. And I need one more. Which which thing should I do? Maybe a a not quite as long Phillips. Yeah. That's what I'll put in there. So long Phillips ones, flat, more reasonable length. That's a good tool roll right there. And actually I have one more. I'll put another, uh, I'll put the long Phillips number one, just, just cause, just because. So that's a really good long set. So I think I've made some progress here today, ladies and gentlemen, with screwdriver bits and screw gun. You know, between this long set, this short set, and drill bits, and my screw gun, I'm pretty proud of that setup right there, actually. That... Thrown in... This case, or this bag, you know, I can roll it up, throw it together in there with that, and I can still have tools and stuff. Right now, I got both of these, but I'm just going to keep this in there between. Between this Milwaukee case, this longer Pro Torch set, and this little bit case, bit screwdriver, I can I can pull this stuff out and have just about all my drilling and driving needs completely covered. And they'll just live in here full time with my everyday pouch and whatever needs to go in there. So if I know I'm going to do a plumbing job while I'm in there, whatever I'm doing, I'll put my plumbing pouch in here. Whatever. I got a flashlight on the side. I got gloves down in there. I can throw parts like this stuff, you know. I always have my snap-on light in there. Things are really coming together, ladies and gentlemen. I've still got a lot of work to do with the sizes of these cases and stuff, but as far as this case is going, I think I'm I think I'm getting there. So, anyway, progress is progress. Thanks for watching.